I first discovered Auburndale around 1972, about the time they were building the new highway bridge over the Diamonds. In this scene, we are looking south toward Tampa on the old main line of the Atlantic coastline, zooming north and looking toward Wildwood on the X seaboard airline. To give you more of a perspective, we'll break out some old maps here. And you'll see Auburndale just east of Lakeland. Most of these branch lines on both the seaboard and the Atlantic coastline have long since disappeared. After the merger, here's Auburndale on another map near the bottom of your screen. Years later, the ex-seaboard airline Miami subdivision between Wildwood and uh, Auburndale was taken out of service and the rails were removed. Today, a portion of it is a very nice rails to trails, but not very conducive to train watching. Under the new highway bridge in 1972, looking south over the diamond, Miami subdivision. April 1988, southbound approaches the diamond from the north on the Miami subdivision. You may have noticed the pipes running over the tracks. Auburndale was, and still is, a big citrus processing area. Meantime, back at the trains, Engine 868 approaches the Diamonds from the north on the Miami sub in this 1979 photo. As well as 1706 in 1980. Even before Amtrak, passenger trains have separated and combined here at Auburndale. With sections to and from Tampa and the West Coast, and Miami and the East Coast. These three pictures are from December of 1985. The next four slides are from October of 1980, as we look south past the diamond on the Miami subdivision. Looking north on the A-line toward Orlando. Engine is on the connecting track from the Miami subdivision to the Sanford or Tampa sub headed toward Orlando, whatever it was called back then. A couple of slides from July 1991. In 1993, we catch a southbound heading toward Tampa, south of the Diamond. It's May 1972 and 1826 approaches the diamond, headed toward Tampa. Note what looks like either an F or an E unit in the center of the lasso. August 1984. Actually a little bit north of Auburndale on the now missing Miami subdivision. And these two photos from November of 1987. South of the diamond, headed toward Tampa, 1984. Approaching the diamond and eventually Tampa from 1987. Same train, engines now south of the diamond. 
Colorful Lash up on the A-line approaches the diamond from Orlando in this April 1988 photo. Probably north of the diamond, looking north on the Miami sub, but the date's for sure, December 1985. Home signal just before the diamond, looking south, March 1972 on the Miami subdivision. I don't know whether my eyes, mind, are playing tricks on me, but do you see what I see? Oops, just went restrictive. Gee, I wonder if there's something over on the old ACL headed toward Tampa. From the Railroad Time Capsule in Auburndale, Florida, we now return you to your present year. 